So for my Egyptian art assignment, I chose Anubis, the god of the dead. And in this picture, he is depicted as having the body of a man, but the head of a dog. And I chose him because he reminds me a lot of my greyhound Pepper, who resembles Anubis quite a bit, especially in this picture. And in this picture, she is just chilling, basking in the sun, loving life, which reminds me a lot of the depictions of Anubis when he is in his full dog form, such as this. So let's cut straight to the assignment. Here I am going over my outline of Anubis with a charcoal okay, pencil. After this, I need to go in with my tempera paint and the directions said I needed tempera blocks, but I went everywhere and I just couldn't find any. So I had to settle for just regular tempera paint in a bottle. And in this video, I am mixing orange and brown to get his skin tone color. So after watching a few videos of previous students doing this assignment, I got very nervous and decided to do my own research and found that you should put multiple coats of paint before putting the India ink on to make sure that not too much paint fades when you wash it off in the sink. So this is me going in for my second coat of paint. Now for the scary part, I very nervously start okay, stroking yeah. the India ink onto my painting start and I am just freaking out. Yeah. So I do more research and find that you should put dish soap on top of the India ink because the dish soap should help the ink come off better in the sink. So I only put the dish soap right, on areas good. that I want to be more prominent such as the hieroglyphics and the actual body of Anubis. I noticed in a lot of the example videos, people would put it in the sink and either scrape the ink off with a paintbrush or with their hands, but I thought that would chip off too much of the paint. So I decided to just rest it in the sink and let the water do most of the work. And I moved the faucet around to make sure it got every part of the painting and I'm really happy with the way the ink is coming off. Looks good. Nice. Okay. Now it's time to leave it out to dry. I kind of expected this to happen. All the detailing in the face disappeared and my plan was to go back in with a white pen or pencil to bring back the detailing in the face, but I like more of a simple look so I decided to leave it the way it is. As for the India ink, I was super nervous about the outcome, but I think it looks great and it definitely gives it that old Egyptian painting vibe. So thanks for watching.